Employee Navigator and Paylocity have partnered to connect your favorite payroll and benefits products. Let's take a look at how the integration works. We'll start by logging into Paylocity and click Add New Employee. We're going to complete the employee profile. Then we're going to add in pay rate details. We'll also update the employee status. And finally, we'll add a few other pieces of information. Note, the integration documents details which fields are shared and not shared between the two systems. When you're done, click Save and Exit. Now let's log out of Paylocity and log into Employee Navigator. Remember, it takes about 90 seconds for data shared between the two systems to be updated in Employee Navigator or Paylocity. From the HR dashboard in Employee Navigator, search for the employee you entered in Paylocity. You'll notice there is still some employee information that needs to be added in here. Let's click into the profile and update it now. When you're done, click Save. Next, let's complete Kyle's benefit elections in Employee Navigator and show the recurring payroll deductions automatically populate the employee record in Paylocity. Employees start by confirming their demographic information is correct. Then click Save and Continue. Employees can also update any dependent information. Now let's make the benefit elections. This employee is going to elect coverage for medical, dental, and vision insurance. To finish their elections, employees select Agree on the Enrollment Summary page where they can see their per-pay deductions. Remember, Employee Navigator only sends recurring deductions back to Paylocity after the employee clicks Agree. Don't worry, if they change their election, we'll update Paylocity. Let's go back into Paylocity to see the payroll deductions we sent over. In Paylocity, search for the employee, click Payroll Setup, then click Deductions. You can see the deduction for medical, dental, and vision insurance are already here. A few things to remember. HR needs to make sure to review any discrepancies. New employees can be added in Employee Navigator or Paylocity. Salary and hourly rates for existing employees can only be changed in Paylocity. Classes, departments, and office locations are currently not being shared. Only recurring payroll deductions are shared, and this means retroactive deductions need to be manually entered in Paylocity. And that's it.